Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lara and I like to craft stuff. I got this stack of fabrics from a recent quilt show that I went to with my friend Taz and this particular stack of fabrics I was in love with. We actually walked away from the booth and I went back to grab them because I kept thinking about it. So I'm gonna make a quilt out of it. If you uh, like quilts, like watching people make stuff, keep on watching. If not, you know what to do. If you want to like and subscribe, you could do that. All right, let's get into it. All right. I am in love with every single one of these fabrics, which is rare for me, I feel like. But maybe not, because um, here I found one. Anyway. I was looking through my book and deciding what I was going to do. They all need to be ironed for sure, but I want to do this little star pattern. Uh, I think it'll be cute to just pick a dark and a light and then do a little star. And given the size and the amount of fabric, I think I'm going to go with The pattern says three and a half inches for the squares, which means that if I were to do the half squares, I'd need to do four inches. I'm thinking about doing three inch squares, but still doing four inch for the half squares so I can give myself more wiggle room with sewing them. Even though the last time I did it, I was pretty good I just really don't have very much wiggle room with these. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to iron them and then I'm going to make a tester after I've split the fabrics. So cutting it and then sewing it and then making the whole block with the rest of these not done. And I might actually do all my blocks that way where I am picking two fabrics and then sewing the entire block and then coming back because I think that's, that's going to give me It'll give me that little, like, spike of having a finished block that you don't get when you are doing them in, when you're doing them in batches, I guess. So that's planned for now. I think the star is going to be super cute. And then from there, depending on the size of the block, I was actually thinking about doing a border around each block, especially since it would be... Each one would be entirely different. Each star would be entirely different. And then, depending on what the fabric is left over, I was thinking about doing some kind of quilted border, if there's enough fabric. We'll see. There might not be. Or just doing a border of a, a different fabric. Or so maybe I can even find, see, I love in this I love the green and I love green and purple, man. So if I find a fabric that is this color, maybe at the store and some purple, I could make a a border that is quilted that's outside of these fabrics, but would go with them. All right, I think it's time to get cracking and ironing. I'm gonna iron all of these, at least they're pre-cut. That is, um, Nice. I can understand why people like to use these. So each fabric, I did a three inch strip and a four inch strip. And then there was like a strip left over. And I decided to keep the strips left over in my fabric scrap boxes. And it worked out really well. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing with this fabric. But I will say this, I, this was the last that I could use this cutting mat. It was really getting in the way of cutting things. And so I have since gotten a new cutting mat. Well, I actually, no, I think I have one more quilt that was on the old cutting mat. So yeah, that's exciting. New cutting mat. Also, I really enjoyed the quilt show but it wasn't as big as I thought it was gonna be but the vendors were awesome and I loved seeing the fabrics 
Hello, checking in. I have all of my strips or my half squares whoop, sewn for this and I'm playing around with sizing and I am going to go with three inches. So I have not cut out the squares, the just plain squares in the pattern. So now that I know that I like the three inches rather than the three and a half, um, there's a lot more room for me to trim down for the three inches. I also have eight, no, yes, I have eight total half squares. And so what I'm thinking is I like these two fabrics so much together that I'm going to do one where the star is the dark fabric and one where the one where the star is the light fabric because I have enough fabric to do that. And so I'll wind up getting two blocks for every two colors. I'm excited. I also realized that in the pack there was a list of serial numbers or SKUs for the fabrics that I got in this pack and so my favorite fabric, if I have a favorite, which I do, <laughs> going through all the fabrics, should I show you what my favorite is? All right, you've twisted my arm. This fabric is my favorite but I thought it was actually reversed. So I thought that the pattern was the purple and then the background was the magenta. And I still swear that was in the pack, but I can't find it. So the, I'm saying that this one's my favorite. It's so pretty. So I might, my whole point with all of that is I might order more of this fabric to be the final border or in the border if I do a border, which I probably will, which I thought was really cool. But you probably knew that. Okay, in case you didn't. <laughs> okay, I have two now made. Uh, and I'm uh, in love. I really, really like them. So I'm thinking if I make like a couple of night after work, that would be really fun splitting it up like that yeah I'm I'm digging it I guess I'll keep going by the way three inches I think was perfect so I did the final square before they sew uh, they were sewn together were three inches and I think that's uh, pretty perfect I do have some leftovers um, just little scrappy bits and these strips I don't have enough to go around both but I'm thinking about uh, incorporating these later on maybe in a border maybe in the binding I, I don't know maybe not at all maybe they'll go into my scrap bins uh, we'll see so the way I went about attaching and and sewing all of these together were how I do a basic nine patch because that's what it is once you have those half square triangles the rest of the layout is a nine patch so that was uh that was you know how I did it I uh did two rows first and then the third row I added on one of the things I enjoyed the most I think about this project was putting the two colors together. I sorted the fabrics into three piles, basically light, medium, and dark, and then uh, tried to match them up with colors and variations that weren't too close together so that everybody had a match that was either lighter or darker. And I think it worked out really well. And the vast majority of these fabrics did work pretty good with other fabrics from the pile, but I definitely had the most fun picking my favorites to go with other ones that I thought would be best with them. So it does make me want to play with more fabric packs like this though. Okay. I have made all of the blocks 
I believe that I have 26. So that should be a nice, decent sized quilt. My plan is to put a border around each of these since it's not really gonna have like a secondary pattern. I mean, I would, I guess. Eh. I think that a border around these would be nice. However, you know, I'm trying to save money uh, and I have materials. So I discovered, pulled out my fabric stash and in it I have like old dresses that I don't really wear. Like they didn't really work out. They were dresses that I made. They didn't really work out. And so I'm keeping the fabric to do something else with. And I have this fabric, which uh, originally was a dress and then, but the bodice was terrible. And so I made another one, another bodice. Still didn't like it. There's a, the bodice that I made. But I'm thinking, it's pretty close. Like it'll look good. The, it's not quite any of the pink colors within the fabrics, but it's like if you were to take this pink and have like a swatch from darkest to light, lightest of that same like color variation, this would be on that swatch. It's just like a lighter version. So I need to cut this into strips and then sew it around all the blocks. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm excited. I think these look really cute. And I tested by putting the blocks on the pink fabric to see if I would like all of the versions. And I think, I think it'll look good, especially if I were to do and find darker fabric eventually for a border around the final quilt. I think it would balance out, maybe. So I recently discovered that the way I did my borders were slightly different than how other people do them. I did it kind of like a log cabin. That being said, I don't mind it being kind of thicker in between the squares. And ultimately, I think the fabric looks so good with these squares. And it also sized up the quilt, which, you know, I love. I love a big quilt, although it's still small enough that I want to do a border. Here I am attaching all of the squares, and this is the final result. I really do like this quilt. I think that a dark purple border would look best. One of the things that I realized after I had already sewn it together was that when I was placing out the squares, I was only focused on the background fabric because I thought the background fabric would pop more. And because of that, I didn't realize that I have like white stars right next to each other, purple stars right next to each other. But I don't think that bothered, like that's too much of a distraction. I did make sure that I placed my favorite uh, squares more towards the top so that I know there is a top and a bottom, basically. But yeah, I, I love this, even if my borders are thicker. Also, I ha have not ironed it yet. Uh, I'm sure you can tell <laughs> the final result, uh, mainly because I'm just going to fold it up and it'll be a while before I quilt it. So I'll iron it when that comes or I'll hand quilt it without ironing it because I'm going to be pulling it anyway. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this project. Uh, if you want to watch more quilt stuff or other projects, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.